Audrey Harris is next up. 5'4", 150 pounds. She's 37 years old, Corey, and she's from Florida. And she's a police officer. How about that? I love it. I'd say her size comes in handy. Oh, I think it probably does. She also has a degree in art, which is something very close to me, so I respect that a lot. She placed third in this year's Jantana. And I like her upper body. It's wide. She always has had a lot of um, upper body size, and also she's got good leg thickness, but she also has always had a problem with showing extreme amounts of definition. And when she's competing against people like um, Diana Dennis, it really shows up. You know, she claims she has a slow metabolism. That must be a curse to a bodybuilder. You know what? It, it absolutely is, and that's probably why she's a little bit smoother than some of the other girls. It's so hard when you have a slow metabolism because you're training so hard, so many hours, you're hungry, and then you can't eat what you want to eat. So it is really a, it's a tough call when you have a slow metabolism. But did you know that muscle mass increases your metabolic rate? Joe Fowler, did you know that? You too are a bodybuilder who is a teacher. <laughs> we have several <laughs> teachers here tonight. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew that. Yes, I see that. <laughs> less dramatic, less theatrical with her posing here. She's more interested in getting down to the nitty gritty. Here are my body parts. Yes. Here's what I have to offer. Yeah. And that's what she's doing too. And that all is, you know, her personality on stage. Not everybody is going to be a, a theatrical poser like Diana Dennis or a real goofy, fun poser like Linda Murray. Um, Linda Murray, goofy. Well, yeah, you know her telephone right. answering service that she has. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Audrey's way of expressing herself. Yeah, and everybody, you know, like what you'll see, has their own personality on stage. I get the message though. It's loud and clear. Going off her abs, arms. All she does when she pulls somebody over for speeding, she just flexes that bicep and they just whip out their, their license. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, officer. You bet. She gives a whole new meaning to the wordage, show me your guns. What? <laughs> your arms. <laughs> Police officer. Oh, got it. All right. Oh, the Sphinx. That's a great pose. It is. You know, it I, really I, is. I haven't seen many real um, unique poses in this contest like that Sphinx pose. Usually each athlete sort of has their own pose, and um, Diana Dennis, of course, has her own pose, but I haven't seen that many varieties. Maybe a case of the nerves, but then again, this is the most prestigious championship ever. He has a right. You know, she, she moves well. You know, when she does her body weights and those types of moves, she's very smooth. I think she's a little tiny bit um, wide in the waist, or maybe she just has very narrow hips, which, um, you know, doesn't give her the, the type of hourglass shape. Audrey, like most of these ladies, has to split time between working and training. We talked to her about that. Training for uh, a big bodybuilding competition was very hard, and working a full-time eight-hour job. And sometimes it carried on to extended hours. So that, that made it very time I, w I don't, wasn't getting enough rest because working a full-time job, so it was quite difficult. And when you start training, you immediately can add one to two hours of extra sleep you need on top of what you normally get. Oh, good. Before we take another step forward, let's take a few steps back and look back at this great competition known as the Ms. Olympia. 